So <laughs> that was the number one decision I made almost probably in a decade. I've got one other financial decision where I bought 10 apartments. That was my number one bread and butter. Even I told this, you not to do that. This is number two. This is my second best decision I probably ever made in my life was I'm going to stop hanging around low quality people, low vibration people, and I'm only going to surround myself with nothing but excellence. Now, you don't have to be the richest. You don't have to be, you know, making the most money. I need you to just have a strong, rich, wealthy, moral foundation. So what do you say to people like that say, ethic. yeah, what do you say to people when they say, oh, but these are my friends. I grew up with these people. These, the, they've been around for They're 10 family. years. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. I, I can't cut these people off. So me and off. him just had this exact same what, conversation. What, what am I supposed to, I can't cut my family off. This is, so, these are my people. It's a long talk. You need to watch Money in the Making episode number what, one or two. I think it was two. We went into it so for like I'll, an hour. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll go on a quick cliff note. Um, do like I, a one, two or three. I like to shake the tree is what I call it. Mm -hmm. So, if I have a group of, let's say, five or six friends, I would say, hey, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go sober for 90 days until each of us have $1,000 in the bank or I have $1,000 in the bank. So you challenge them. We, t we do a challenge. Like, I know we uh, we did Sober October mm -hmm. all, we, between all of us. And most of us did great. Most I did of not, us. I did not. Most of us did great. I made it pretty far. I decided we not to even do that. So we were just doing that for fun. But I mean, like, let's say, it was my let's say we have four guys that are 18 years old. Let's say you're, you know, might be the group leader. You're the you're the, the head of the pack for them. You need to tell everybody else under you, we're gonna go sober until we got ten grand each in the bank. Whatever friend doesn't want to follow you, they might not be your friends. Well, okay, and so, the, so the important thing that I, I I would like to point out with that is as you hold the people in your circle accountable and you say here are the standards, we don't accept less than this, the people that aren't going to rise to that bar are gonna take care of themselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what happens when, okay, cause I went through this a little bit, but I wanna know if you guys did as well. What happens when you set that bar for yourself and nobody in your friend group matches it so you now you're lonely wrong friend now group. so so now justin and so, i were besties and it was just the two of us for how many months <laughs> so you're lonely oh, wow. and and you're just by yourself what do you guys what what have you been saying to yourself in those times what do you how do you get yourself through so that i didn't i didn't meet Lindsay until i was like six seven eight months into it and i was 100 percent lonely but i deserved to be lonely well and you you have to it's the delayed gratification you, you need to keep your end goal in mind. Mm -hmm. What is your end goal? How, what helped you do that? You can't focus on the right now. I had a, a whole vision board. Mm -hmm. Justin and I would have multiple conversations where we're saying, this is what we want out of our life. And we actually got the idea. I don't know if you remember this, but one of the things Justin did when he first got started in real estate was as he would meet someone that was very successful, he would buy them lunch. Mm -hmm. He would say, hey, can I buy you lunch? And it's not, hey, can we go out to lunch? Hey, can you do this for me? It'd be, hey, can I buy you lunch? And then he gets an opportunity in that lunchtime to pick their brain. And most successful people are willing to extend that time, right? It's not that big of a deal. We got the idea we did because he was doing that. And I was like, what if we take that same mindset and apply it to our friend group instead? What if we say, okay, so from now on, we are going to invest our time, we're going to invest our money, we're going to invest our effort in only the people that are successful and are going to help make us successful. That's how we built our friend group. It, it's, it's as you raise the bar and you're full steam ahead and you've got that, that vision in mind and you're saying, I'm not going to accept anything less than that. Mm -hmm. When you're doing that, you'll have a lot of people along the way because we lost a lot of friends that were like, oh, you're getting too big for your britches. You have no loyalty. You're selfish. The selfish is a big one I got. Um, how could you be this selfish? How could you be this selfish? I have my end goal in mind. I'm not going to let anyone else hold me back. And a lot of people will use all sort of excuses. We're family. You owe me. You know, I've been there for you through da 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 And that changed. That may all be yeah. true. And yes, I'm changing because I have a vision of who I want to be. You can join me. I will, we can go, we can do this together or I'm going to do this by myself.